So if you can imagine what it would feel like to compete in an NFL football stadium atmosphere. It's like this big beast, this monstrous noise. Then when you come in for the first shooting and the entire crowd just goes completely silent. And then they take the first shot. There's so many different ways to fail, but when you do put all the pieces together, the great ski race, the great prone shooting, the great standing shooting, really anyone has a chance at a podium finish. Seeing Lowell and Susan um, medal at this year's World Championships, really there was definitely a time after that where I kind of sat there for a second and was like, what am I capable of? To be, you know, to know those guys and train with them every day um, is definitely very inspiring to know that, you know, they made it there and I'm, you know, I don't think I'm really that different from them. I think biathlon's really popular because it's anybody's day every day. The amount of different people on the podium every year is staggering. There are just so many different factors that go into each race that the door is always wide open for everybody. Dunkley first destroyed as she was on the last stand. She's shooting a little bit quicker this week. Three out of three for the American. Four out of four. If five go down, yes! she's got a chance. Away she goes. Undoubtedly inspired by Bailey. It's USA versus Germany for the gold and the silver. I think we're going to see a rise in American biathlon over the next decade or so. She was 125 to 1 to win this one. There are 4.6 behind. Best performance we've ever seen from Dunkley without a shadow of doubt. Be able to see the world and to uh, try to be the best in the world at something and, and have that's such a privilege and an honor I think not everybody gets to do that I think it's I feel really lucky every time I start the season and I find myself out there around all these wonderful strong ladies who all work really hard and are really good at what they do seconds off the piece. Here he is. Tim Burke has upped the pace. This is as hard as we've seen him ski. But the USA are going on to the medal table tonight because no one out there is anywhere near Tim Burke's time of 50.06. The crowd is awesome here tonight. It was really loud, really fun race, a great way to end the season. Biathlon includes you know, the drama of that last free throw shot or hitting the last putt at in a golf match or any of those classic sports scenarios. Biathlon has that, but several times throughout the competition. You know, biathlon, there's a reason it's one of the most popular winter sports in Europe, and it's incredibly exciting. Anything can happen in a biathlon race. You know, up until the last shooting stage, you never know who's gonna win. So, watch. <laughs>